Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot here to do a random reading for the 5th of September. Now, keep in mind that these are general readings, like I always say. If they resonate with you, that's great. And if they don't, maybe next time. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading, all the info's in the box below. I have tarot card classes if you want to learn tarot. I have mystery healing boxes that uh, bring out the highest properties and qualities of your crystals and stones. And um, I do life path readings now that are absolutely fantastic. If you want to clear block blockages, get that out. As well as any healing processes that you might think you need. So give me a shout if you're interested. I thought I was going to be able to do this reading in the rain. Because I love doing readings in the rain. But the sun just popped out, so, ah, take it anyway. So let's see what's uh, crackalacking here for the 5th of September. Hmm, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. In the upright, it's a messenger of the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things, that things have worth and value. In the reverse, it's delayed or stalled for some reason. This could be a pay raise, an opportunity for a job, or an opportunity to have something worthwhile. Now, why is it, oh, because this offer is not coming in, it brings the Ten of Cups in reverse. Eek. That's emotional fulfillment at its finest. Ride unicorns, as I always say. Wow, now the sun's really going to come out. He wants me to do the reading. But this is depression. You know, disharmony in a family home because money is not coming in or something expected didn't come through yet. Hmm. What's going on here? Could be with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who is very Earth like. Now, this person's a realist. They're grounded, they're practical, they're methodical. They don't sugarcoat anything. They see something for how it really is. And in the upright, this earth-like person is in the element of earth. Not sugarcoating anything. Not, you know, giving high expectations. I feel. <laughs> now we have the queen of pentacles. Now here is a power couple. Again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy, or Earth-like. In the upright, she's in her element, too. She's grounded. She's practical. She's seeing things for how they really are. And even though this aspect of money that causes some, some sort of disturbance, you get the Six of Rods. And that's overcoming a battle and being victorious, coming back from a battle and being victorious. About accolades, props, recognition, winning. Hmm. get winning. Now you have the sun card. Most positive card in the whole deck. The happy, happy card. And it's right under the, the page of pentacles reversed. That's funny. I think this this couple, whether it is a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships, it's not about money. Yeah, it might bring some you know, some difficulty not having this money come in, but it doesn't ruin, you know, the rest of their intentions or days or plans. It's not like a, you know, a breakup or a separation because money didn't come in. It's like they can still find happiness in being broke, maybe. <laughs> oh, boy. And that's okay. And now we have the Four of Pentacles. The Miser card, or somebody not expressing themselves, somebody not saying anything. It's right under the Ten of Cups in Reverse. So somebody's not going to say, either one of these Earth-like people aren't going to say how disappointing it is. They're not going to dwell on this 
money not coming in. They can still be happy without the money. Props to them. Oh. So, the King of Pentacles, we have the chariot in reverse. Something not going forward. Head and heart not on the same page. Hmm. But the Queen of Pentacles has the Ace of Cups. New love. Hmm. Funny. Now we have the, the Knight of Pentacles. I mean the Knight of Cups, excuse me. Right under the Six of Rods. And then we get the Tower. That came out too. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, he had the Emperor. Very interesting. So, you have two people looking at a situation in totally different ways. You know, this King of Pentacles perhaps doesn't see anything going forward. And not saying anything, but very disgruntled, so to speak, about money not coming in. But the Queen of Pentacles doesn't seem to dwell on that. As I say that, the sun comes out. You know, she's got happiness, even though he's not saying anything, in love. In a new love for herself, not to get sucked into this hole. Wanting new love or new love does come for the Queen of Pentacles. When she's thinking about it, here comes an offer. It comes out of the blue for her. And this offer might be from like a very authoritative like person, Aries or Taurus. But it puts back control. In her court. <laughs> I'm hearing in my head right on the money. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> and something comes out of the blue where, you know, whether it's new love or a love for something. Or someone. And where somebody's negative here, somebody is positive. <laughs> wow. So let's get it. We have the Page of Pentacles being stalled or delayed here. It could be bringing some disharmony in a home or some ill feeling. Possibly with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male. Doesn't have to be. But then you have a partner. Also Earth-like, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Who doesn't see it that way. There is some sort of victory or overcoming a battle in being victorious and getting accolades for that. And happiness that comes out of it, even though, you know, money might not be a factor here. And where somebody holds back, let's see if you can see that, and not saying how discontent he or she might be. That person who looks at the glass half empty isn't going to go anywhere. Situations won't progress for that person. The person that has love and is enthusiastic about love will invite new love in or opportunity to love something will come to the Queen of Pentacles. And again, King and Queen don't matter. These can be interchangeable. And as she still holds on to the idea of of the possibilities of love. Here comes a messenger of love. And it could come in as a shock. Ooh. Out of the blue. And it could be with a Aries Taurus like person or somebody who has authoritative traits. Or it could give the queen back control. Control of a situation here. And a judgment call gets made. 
That's right under. The one who does not lose faith or hope here is the one that gets total control back of a situation. And possibly, maybe love. Wow. So let's break this one down, folks. Somebody still can go on and be happy. You stay very positive, even though this offer of something tangible is not coming in. Somebody here is very emotionally distraught and not saying something. And that person that dwells on the material, possibly the king of pentacles, is a person that's not going to find any victory moving forward in a situation. The earth-like woman, and again, these are interchangeable, okay, holds on to the idea of love and inviting new love in. And with that, new love will come in. Something sentimental or heartfelt gets offered and brings victory to the person who doesn't lose hope. And it might come in real hard and real fast. It brings back either authority, control of a situation, or it just might bring in an Aries or a Taurus. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.